Welcome to the Temple Learning Tool for Methylmalonic and Propionic Acidemia. Temple, Tools, Enabling, Metabolic Parents Learning was developed in partnership with leading healthcare professionals and Nutrition Metabolics. Your baby may have been diagnosed with methylmalonic acidemia or propionic acidemia. We are here to help you understand the diagnosis and what you can do to make sure your baby has the best opportunity to grow and develop just like any other bundle of joy. What are MMA and PA? MMA and PA are inherited metabolic conditions. MMA stands for methylmalonic acidemia. PA stands for propionic acidemia. MMA and PA are separate but similar medical conditions, so they are often discussed together and called MMA-PA. For individuals with MMA or PA, the body has trouble breaking down protein, which it needs to help grow and repair itself. Protein is made up of chains of smaller units called amino acids. Four of these amino acids are valine, methionine, isoleucine, and threonine. These four amino acids are also called propiogenic amino acids. Our bodies change amino acids into other substances or energy with the help of enzymes. This process is called metabolism. For someone without MMA or PA, valine, methionine, isoleucine, and threonine break down into other substances in the body. For this process to fully work, the body needs the enzymes propionyl coenzyme A carboxylase and methylmalonyl coenzyme A mutase. In individuals with PA, the enzyme PCC does not work properly, so only small amounts of the propiogenic amino acids are completely broken down. In individuals with MMA, it is the enzyme MCM that does not work properly, so they will only be able to break down small amounts of the propiogenic amino acids. This leads to an increase of toxic substances in the body and the brain. For PA, propionic acid and other toxins build up. For MMA, propionic acid, methylmalonic acid and other toxins build up. Without proper management, the buildup of these toxic substances can lead to brain damage. In MMA, these toxic substances can also lead to problems with the kidneys, pancreas, eyes, and heart. In PA, the buildup of these harmful substances can cause damage to the brain as well as the heart and pancreas. Babies might experience poor feeding, sleepiness, vomiting, difficulty breathing, and seizures. However, with proper management, the buildup of toxins is controlled to support the growth and development of your child. MMA and PA are screened through the newborn screening process and diagnosed with additional blood tests. The blood sample is analyzed to measure the levels of methylmalonic acid, propionic acid, and other substances. How did your child get MMA or PA? MMA and PA are inherited conditions. There is nothing that could have been done to prevent MMA or PA. In children with MMA or PA, the genes that make the enzymes that fully break down the propiogenic amino acids do not work correctly. Children with MMA or PA inherit one non-working gene from each parent. Parents of children with MMA or PA are referred to as carriers but do not have MMA or PA themselves. Most people don't know they're carriers. When both parents are carriers, there is only a one in four chance their child will inherit MMA or PA. It is possible for a child to not be a carrier if they inherit a working gene from both parents. How are MMA and PA managed? In some individuals with MMA, the MCM enzyme works better with the help of a vitamin called vitamin B12 or hydroxycobalamin. For everyone else with MMA and for those with PA, the disease is mostly managed through diet and regular blood and urine testing. There are two main components to managing MMA-PA through diet, which include following a whole protein restricted diet 
and may include a special metabolic formula. Individuals with MMAPA may also be prescribed L-carnitine, a drug to help prevent the buildup of harmful substances in the body. Your doctor may prescribe other medications as needed. A diet limited in whole protein helps restrict your baby's intake of the propiogenic amino acids, valine, methionine, isoleucine, and threonine. Even though eating too many of the propiogenic amino acids is unsafe for someone with MMAPA, they are essential for normal growth and development. A limited and controlled amount must be taken daily. This means that your baby can only have a certain amount of breast milk or standard infant formula. As your baby gets older and starts eating solid food, foods that are high in protein may be limited since all protein contains the propiogenic amino acids. Your dietitian will tell you how much breast milk, infant formula, and foods with whole protein to feed your baby. As your baby starts to eat solid foods, your clinic will work with you to teach you how to track and limit whole protein intake. In addition to a diet limited in whole protein, a special metabolic formula may be an important part of the diet as well. This special formula does not contain the propiogenic amino acids, but provides otherwise all the necessary vitamins, minerals, protein, and energy your baby needs to grow. Your dietitian will determine how much metabolic formula to give your baby. MMAPA Animix Early Years is the first MMAPA infant formula to contain DHA, ARA, and prebiotics. DHA helps your baby's brain and eye development, while the prebiotics help to support immune and digestive health. Your dietitian may suggest using special low-protein foods to help add variety into your child's diet. Nutricia offers special low-protein foods, including low-protein fruity cereals, animal pasta, and cake mix. You can also find a wide range of low-protein recipes at medicalfood.com. For every child, regular checkups are essential. They are especially important for a child with MMA or PA. During your clinic visit, your baby's height and weight will be measured. Blood and urine tests will be taken to check blood amino acids and nutrient levels. You will review your child's blood tests, growth, development, medication and current diet, and make any adjustments accordingly. Other tests might be done as well to make sure your child stays healthy. What happens if your baby gets sick? During illness, the body breaks down body protein. This can quickly raise levels of methylmalonic and propionic acid and other toxic substances in the body, which can lead to serious medical problems and require immediate medical attention. Early signs often include vomiting, excessive sleepiness, or coordination problems. Contact your metabolic clinic immediately with the first signs of illness. As directed by your metabolic team, start the emergency protocol that has been developed for you. Your metabolic team may have you Stop or greatly reduce the protein in food and drinks. Start the emergency protocol which may include metabolic formula and glucose. Give the full amounts of emergency feedings and medications as prescribed. Go immediately to the hospital if symptoms continue or you are worried. Remember, it is essential that you contact your metabolic team immediately if your child is getting sick. Make sure to follow their instructions without any delay. To review, MMA and PA are serious inherited metabolic disorders that can lead to severe health problems. You can manage it with a whole protein restricted diet, a special metabolic formula, and medications as prescribed. Always have a good supply of medications, dietary products, and metabolic formula, and make sure that they are not expired. Make sure to give the correct amount of breast milk or standard infant formula and metabolic formula as prescribed by your metabolic clinic and have your emergency protocol handy. When your child is ill or not behaving as usual, contact your metabolic team immediately to prevent serious medical problems. Emergency feedings should be started quickly, 
followed strictly, and there should be no delays in management. Regular blood tests are essential, so remember to stick to your clinic appointments so your child can receive the best management. Finally, always have your metabolic team's contact information with you, and remember to follow their recommendations to offer your child the best opportunity for normal growth and development. To learn more about MMA and PA and how you can support your child, visit medicalfood.com.